everybody, to the Don Ruby Fieldhouse here in Southfield, Michigan. This is the Blue Devils men's volleyball against the Bethel University Pilots here on the LTU Sports Network. Sorry for the technical difficulties for getting you so late into the action here. 13 to 7 is the score right now. LTU with the big lead here in set one. Leading in kill so far is Gustavo Machado for the LTU side. And he's got four of five on his, to on his total attacks so far in the game here. And a service error will give it back over to the Bethel side. And serving for the Pilots is Marcos Marcos Henrique. Henrique from Brazil. He sends it over with might. LTU able to take it up the middle there. A block will keep it on the LTU side. Bringing it over to the close net. Will go off the chest of Bethel for another kill for Gustavo Machado. He's now five of six. Score now 14 to eight. Blue Devils lead it. And they will continue to serve here. Matias Andrade will be the one to serve it for the Blue Devils here from Brazil as well. We have a lot of Brazilians on the floor here tonight. And a quick attack attempt by Bethel will be just on the outside. There's a soft touch in the middle there trying to fool out the hard attacks that have been flying so far in the game today. 15 to 8 is now the scores. Blue Devils get their point. And back to serve is Andrade. And he'll send it over. It'll be handled in the middle. A fake set will fly off of LTU. I think a Brown lay out the last one to touch it for LTU. That'll bring possession back over to Bethel. The score is now 15 to 9 here on the first set. Giovanni Mosheri here for play by play on the LTU Sports Network here, giving you the story of the Blue Devils and the Pilots. Blue Devils so far are sixth place in the WAC and are looking for a chance to increase their seeding in the WAC tournament from fifth to sixth. There's only one game behind the fifth place team in front of them. So Bethel sends it over. And then LTU with a strong attack will be just enough to get the, the far corner. That'll make it a 16 to nine set so far. Up to serve now for the Blue Devils, Brendan Down. Brendan Down, he's at a 50% hit rate so far. As a timeout will be called on the floor here. That'll keep the score where we're at right now. 16 to nine, LTU with a strong lead so far in the first set. And a little bit about both the teams here today. They have a lot of familiar roots and familiar foes on the floor today as many teams, one from LTU and one from Bethel, have come from the same club or even the same high school. For example, the 630 Volleyball Club is home to soft, LTU sophomore Zach Mead, as well as Bethel's freshman Christopher Demetrio, both of which coming from the same club there. We have plenty more of them that we'll go through uh, during the broadcast here today. We've got a couple graduates at Dakota High School as well. LTU's freshman Elvis Chaferena, as well as Bethel's sophomore Ige Gould. Getting ready to get back into action here so far in the first set. LTU maintains a seven point lead, 16 to nine. As teams return to the court here at the Don Ridley Fieldhouse, excuse me, Don Ridler Fieldhouse. And coming to serve for the Blue Devils is Brandon Down. Bethel today sporting their black jerseys, LTU hosting their silver. Down the redshirt junior, outside hitter, ready to serve. Here it comes, a strong one. Not able to recover it. A soft touch over to the close net. Will be an attack sent over to get Bethel into double digits now. 16 to 10, Bethel now with the serve. On the kill there for BU was Andrade Matias. And they'll send it over with might. Arthur Barreto for BU with a service error to return it back to the Blue Devils. 17 to 10 so far in the first set. LTU looking to stay alive here in the MAC, or here in the WAC, that's it, that is. Serve over now to the Bethel side. And a strong attack in the middle by Tiago Silva. We'll get possession back over to the Pilots. Score now 17 to 11. 11-7-17, if you will. 
That is Tiago Silva to send it over. LTU on the outside, unable to recover it. Came out of bounds on the close sideline. And Mario Fid unable to recover with the single arm hit the umpire uh, up in his uh, up in his ladder. And that'll give Bethel their 12th point. It's now 17 to 12. LTU still with the five point lead here in set one as they send it over. And LTU finds the open spot, JT McCarthy with the attack and kill. That'll make it now an 18 to 12 game here in the first set. You're listening to the LTU Sports Network. Hopefully you'll be watching the LTU Sports Network soon here. Forgive us for the technical difficulties so far. Bethel has it now on the outside. Balancing it again. They'll send it over to the LTU side. They'll be able to recover it and a block. Sent back like an undercooked stick by Marcos Henrique. Up there in the middle, that'll continue for Bethel. Score now 18 to 13. LTU with the five point lead here, but perhaps a spark of momentum being caught here on the Bethel Pilots side. Pilots from our broadcast location. Bethel from the left serving to the right. And their black uniforms today. Urosh. Miller. Miller Govic serving for today. If you can tell by the name, he's from uh, the land of Serbia. As he sends it over. A lot of muscle on that one. It'll come back to the LTU middle there. And a quick attack there. Soft touch. We'll send it down to the court in front of the feet of the pilot, sending it back to the Blue Devils. They score to make it a 19 to 12 game. The 19 to 12 first set, that is. Now up to serve is Nathaniel Brownlee, the sophomore setter from Cleveland, Illinois. A member of Club VPC, Coach Rafael Balliero is of the same there on the Bethel side. Celtic will send it over. Bethel there, looking for the soft touch. Save there. They got a dig from LTU's number 10 there to keep it alive. And it will result in an LTU point there, now up to the 20. An eight point lead right now for the LTU Blue Devils. 20 to 12 in set one. Daniel Brownlee will keep the serve. 20 with 20 points serving. Sends it over. Good reception in the middle for, for Bethel. They'll send it back. LT is able to recover it. Over on the far side, an attack. Up to the close sideline. Will just be out of bounds to give Bethel a chance to dig into the deficit here. 13 to 20. LT is still up, but now by seven. Number four for the Pilots. A lot. Alfonso Matias. Serve for the pilots. He gathers himself, tosses it up, sends it over. Clipping the top of the net there, but LTU is able to dig that one to recover it. Over to the far net is an attack, but recovered by the pilots. They'll send it over. Just now with enough height, though, hitting the net on their side to give it to LTU. Four more points in this set will mean the end of it. Would mean a Blue Devils first set win. 21 to 13 is the score here in Southfield. Up to serve now is Tyler Reitz. Sends it over with ferocity. Pilots able to still recover it. Far side attack, recovered by LTU. Now up in the middle, a little miscommunication on the jump there. Two errors on the blue double side will result in another point over now to the Pilots. That'll be a 21 14 score right now. If you're a fan of the Pilots, this is the chance for you to make an effort to make that comeback alive. And it's gotta start soon. Up to serve is number 13, Marcos Enrique. He gets the serve as ace. As it came off, as it came off the body, don't use number 10, Matias Andrade. Now we turn the serve over to Enrique for the Pilots. Sending it up and over. LTU with a nice reception. Close side attack. Over to the opposite corner. Off the chest of Henrique himself to get LTU the 22nd point of this first set. Getting ready 
to go now for LTU serving is number 10, Matias Andrade. The libero getting a lot of work today in the first set. 22 serving 15, but a service error will fly past the back line, give it right back to the pilots. Now with a score of 16 to 22. Pilots out by six here in the first set. Slight pause in action for an official clarification. He will stay with the pilots for the serve. And getting that serve, number six, Jack Hughes. Hughes rises it up, sends it over, clips the top of the net, but makes its way over. LTU on a quick set to attack. Will just be in bounds. That one hit the far line. To stay with the Blue Devils, they're now two points away from taking the set one. 23 to 16. And back to serve is Brandon Bow, the outside hitter from Bloomfield Hills. Transfer from Siena Heights University. Sends it over, 23 serving 16, clips the top of the net. Pilots are able to recover. They send it over on the far side, recovered by LTU. LTU close side attack, rolling off the top of the hands of the pilots, they recover it. A mid side attack, recovered by LTU. This one's going back and forth and off the hands of Alonzo Matias. Will fly out of bounds, giving LTU one point away from taking the first set. 24-16, this is set point. Brendan down. Sienna Heights transfer, sends it over. That will able to receive it with control. They'll bump it over softly. He was able to recover it right in front of that middle. There's an attack there, and there's the set. 25 to 16 will be where the first set ends here. LTU now up 1 0. And a pause in the action here in between sets. Your Blue Devils take set 1, 25 to 16. Well, as mentioned before at the top of the broadcast here, LTU currently sixth place in the land right now with a conference record of seven and nine. They are one game behind fifth place in the league. That fifth place being held by Sienna Heights. But they're only eight and eight in conference play, so Lawrence Tech the win today could possibly catch the eight win Sienna Heights. Looking at Bethel though, 4 and 12 in the WAC would not be good enough to win the top six requirement to get into the WAC tournament. So right now, pilots are purely playing spoiler. It's going to be apologized for the difficult difficulties so far here. We have two sports network. We get to resolve this as soon as possible. Getting to know a little bit more about the teams on the floor today. It is an international game here as there are plenty of players from around the world here on the court today. Seven of them coming from LTU, 11 of them coming from Bethel. Some of the nations that are represented on the court today, they come from Portugal, they come from Spain, they come from Brazil, Poland, Cyprus, Turkey, Germany, two from Hawaii, and one from Puerto Rico. Uh, no, you could debate on whether those are <laughs> Hawaiian or Puerto Rico or international because of their uh, status is with the United States, but either way, we have a global roster here on both sides. And specifically for LTU, multiple coming from Brazil, and for Bethel, they're the ones sporting the Turkey and the Cyprus and Germany. Colombia, a nation I forgot to, uh, I uh, mistakenly left out here, but everywhere is on the court today. And if you couldn't tell by the fantastic names that I've been mentioning here on the roster, I mean, it gives you a little bit more context as to why that is. So as it stands right now, set two will be approaching soon. Lawrence Tech, if you missed it, won the first set with a score of 25 to 16. Held a pretty strong lead throughout the first set there by about seven, got down to five points at one part of it. But overall, LTU had the main control over that first set. And leading the offense was Gustavo Machado. He was six of seven from his attacks and kills today. He's hitting at an 85.7% right now. 
Brandon down four, or two for four on his total attacks for 50%. Got two digs as well. Guys are getting ready to get back into action here for the second set here. Sides have flopped, flip-flopped if you will, switched, flipped, however you want to say it. LT will now be serving and getting their action done from the left side of the court in their silver jerseys, blue trim, while the Bethel Pilots will be on the right side with their black jerseys with the blue trim. Just trying to paint the picture for you folks here over the LT Sports. Appreciate you all listening here and supporting your Lawrence Tech Blue Devils. As teams get back into action here, we await the approval of both teams to be willing to participate in the second set here. Just making sure everything is all right with the Bethel coaching staff. And a little warm ups on the sideline there for both teams. And don't forget, on the LTU Sports Network, here we got softball, a doubleheader for tomorrow's match against Northwestern Ohio. That will be on Alumni Day, so be sure to tune in. Those games start at 1 o'clock and 3.30 for the second game of the doubleheader right here on the LTU Sports Network. Giovanni Mosheri here taking you through the journey of the Blue Devils and the Pilots. As the Pilots will be set to serve here to start off set two, Tiago Silva from Lisbon, Portugal will be starting things off in set two. Sets it up and over. Close side recovery for LTU. They'll send it over to the close side net. A soft touch sling it over will be out of bounds to give the advantage 1-0 over to the Bethel Pilots. The second point of the second set will go still to the side of the Bethel Pilots. The serve will remain with number 10, Tiago Silva. Previously of the Cardinals Stritch University, men's volleyball team comes over to Bethel. It's now in control of the Pilots. Sends just a little bit over the top of the middle of the net, giving LTU a quick attack and kill to get their first point of the second set here. Two to one, LTU down by one, Bethel's with the lead. And now to serve for the Blue Devils is Nathaniel Brownlee. He gets his encouragement from his teammates before the serve. He sends it over, over to the middle of Bethel. They'll send it to the far side for an attack. Recovered on the LTU close side. Sent over to the LTU far side for an attack. Will be a successful block for Bethel as they're now up 3-1 in the second set. That block there over from the far side of the Bethel right court of action. Serving now is Urosh Miloradovic. Up high in the sky before sending it over. LTU on the far side recovery. They'll send it over to the far side. Attack finds the open courts for the second point for LTU. LTU down by one in the second set, two to three. LTU with the set advantage, winning the first set previously, 25 to 16. Now serving for the Blue Devils is Mario Thid from Barcelona, Spain. The, res the reception over at the Bethel side will fly up to the rafters before sending itself back to the LTU side. That attack will go sandwiched in between Bethel and the net, rolling over on their side to give LTU a now tie game. Scoring three. Back to serve, Mario Thid maintains it. He'll send it high up, he'll send it over. Bethel the nice recovery, near side set, near side attack. Attack by number four, Afonso Matias will be blocked by the near side LTU Blue Devils. The officials having a word with the athletes there for the Blue Devils. Trying to perhaps contain their excitement a little bit as they now have the lead four to three. Stead with the serve. Up high into the rafters, almost into the stands. 
but Matias able to recover it for Bethel. That's now to the LTU side. Close side attack by Down. Bethel with a hesitate attack there, near side recovery by LTU. They'll send it over off two hands for the now fifth point. LTU up five to three in the second set. Once again, we apologize for the technical difficulties here on the LTU Sports Network. We're looking to resolve them as soon as possible. But as it stands right now, LTU up by two. And still serving is Mario Thid. The coaches give their instructions there. Thid high up, sends it over. Up into the middle, Bethel with it. Soft touch attack is blocked by LTU, but the block landed out of bounds, thus giving it back 